Justice League – Crisis on Two Earths is an original direct-to-video animated superhero film released on February 23, 2010. It is based on the abandoned direct-to-video feature Justice League – Worlds Collide, which was intended as a bridge between the then-concluding Justice League animated television series and its then-forthcoming sequel series Justice League Unlimited. Crisis on Two Earths was reworked from the World's Collide script to remove references to the TV series continuity. The film is directed by Lauren Montgomery and Sam Liu and written by Dwayne McDuffie. The premise of Crisis on Two Earths is borrowed from the 1964 Gardner Fox scripted Justice League of America 29 30 entitled Crisis on Earth 3, and the 2000 Grant Morrison JLA, Earth 2 graphic novel, with a heroic Lex Luthor from an alternate universe coming to the Justice League's universe for help against the crime syndicate. The film is the seventh of the DC Universe animated original movies released by Warner Premiere and Warner Brothers Animation. The two-disc special edition also includes an animated short featuring the Spectre. On August 11, 2015, Warner Home Video re-released the film in a combo pack which includes a DVD and Blu-ray copy, a digital copy, and the graphic novel on which it was based. Topic. Plot In an alternate universe where the roles of the heroes and villains are reversed from their counterparts in the mainstream DC universe, heroic analogues of Lex Luthor and Joker called the Jester are stealing a device called the «Quantum Trigger» from the headquarters of the crime syndicate villainous analogue of the Justice League. When an alarm is tripped, the jester sacrifices himself to allow Luther to escape and kills Jed Yorkus and Angelique alternate versions of Martian Manhunter and Hawkgirl respectively with a bomb. Luther is nearly captured by the remaining Syndicate members Ultraman, Superwoman, Power Ring, Johnny Quick and Owlman but escapes to the Earth of the Justice League by activating a device that enables interdimensional travels. Luther locates a police station, but is mistaken for the evil Luther and ends up strip searched. The Justice League is summoned and Superman's X-ray vision confirms Luther's reversed organs indicate that he is from a parallel Earth and that their Luther is still incarcerated at Strikers Island. The Justice League take the alternate Luther to the Watchtower, where they learn of the Syndicate threat. As the Justice League debates the matter, Luther hides the quantum trigger on the satellite. With the exception of Batman, the rest of the Justice League Superman, Wonder Woman, Green Lantern, Flash and Martian Manhunter travel to Luther's Earth. Arriving at the parallel Justice League's base, the heroes attack Syndicate targets. After a successful series of raids in which they capture Ultraman, the League confront United States President Slade Wilson, who releases Ultraman and explains that acceding to the Syndicate's demands saves millions of lives. His daughter, Rose, however, regards him as a coward. Martian Manhunter inadvertently reads her mind and explains that as a military man her father actually holds life more dear than others. Martian Manhunter later foils an assassination attempt on Rose by Scarlet Archer an alternate version of Green Arrow, and the pair fall in love. Owlman has developed a weapon, the Quantum Eigenstate Device or QED, which the Syndicate intend to use as the equalizer to the threat of a nuclear reprisal. When pressed by Superwoman, Owlman reveals that he's secretly planning to overthrow Ultraman and take control of the crime syndicate. He also admits the weapon can destroy entire worlds. Believing there are many parallel Earths, and that each one develops from the choices that each person makes, Owlman becomes obsessed with the idea that nothing he does can possibly matter, as there will always be parallel worlds where he explored another option. 
As a result, he searches for Earth Prime, the very first Earth from which all other universes originated, intending to use the QED to destroy it and spark a chain reaction that will erase the entire multiverse, as it is the only action that would not result in the creation of another universe. Superwoman agrees to help him, as it would give her the power to kill everyone who's ever lived. Owlman sends Superwoman with three of her lieutenants to the League's dimension, and on the Watchtower they battle Batman, Aquaman, Black Canary, Black Lightning, Firestorm, and Red Tornado. Superwoman and one of her lieutenants escape with the Quantum Trigger, but are followed by Batman. After a fight that ended with him gaining a broken rib, Batman defeats Superwoman and summons the League. Johnny, hopeful to reinstate fear in the Syndicate, decides to come down to commit big crimes. Power Ring rejects this because Scarlet Archer had been arrested by Jean. Jean and Rose bond, and Rose decides to learn the location of the Syndicate base to allow the Justice League to confront them. The League arrive at the Crime Syndicate's moon base with the captive Superwoman, and eventually battle the Syndicate. Owlman fights off Batman and takes the QED bomb to Earth Prime, finding it to be uninhabited and lifeless, having suffered an unknown cataclysm that caused it to leave solar orbit. Luther speculates that a speedster might be able to vibrate and match the temporal vibration of the teleported QED device and open a portal. Flash volunteers but Batman states that he isn't fast enough, only Johnny Quick is. Johnny agrees and opens a portal. Batman pursues Owlman to Earth Prime and engages in a brutal battle with his doppelganger. Batman manages to teleport Owlman and the QED device to another uninhabited Earth, and triggers the QED. Seeing what is about to happen, Owlman does not attempt to defuse the bomb, simply saying, it doesn't matter, with a smirk and allowing the bomb to destroy the alternate Earth, killing himself in the process. Batman returns to the Syndicate's Earth, where the strain of acting as a vibratory conduit has aged Johnny Quick to near death. Before dying, Johnny correctly deduces Batman lied about Flash not being fast enough and knew what would happen. Despite this, he shows no ill will toward Batman, dying with a smile. Martian Manhunter returns, accompanied by President Wilson and the U.S. Marines, and together they arrest Ultraman, Superwoman, and Power Ring. Wilson thanks the heroes for helping save their world and tells them he had ordered the Marines to support the local police forces and resume on arresting the remaining members of the Syndicate. Although Rose asks Martian Manhunter to remain with her, the group return to their dimension. Batman and Superman later discuss a membership drive with the five heroes summoned previously greeting the Justice League. Topic. Cast William Baldwin as Bruce Wayne – Batman Mark Harmon as Clark Kent – Superman Chris Noth as Lex Luthor Gina Torres as Superwoman James Woods as Owlman Brian Bloom as Ultraman Jonathan Adams as Jean Junes – Martian Manhunter Josh Keaton as Wally West, The Flash credited, Aquaman uncredited. Vanessa Marshall as Princess Diana, Wonder Woman Bruce Davison as President Slade Wilson Freddie Rogers as Rose Wilson James Patrick Stewart as Johnny Quick credited, The Jester uncredited. Nolan North as Hal Jordan, Green Lantern credited, Power Ring uncredited. Jim Meskimen as Captain Super, credited, Scarlet Archer, uncredited. Kari Wur as Model Citizen, credited, Black Canary, uncredited. Bruce Tim as Uncle Super, credited, Captain Super Jr., uncredited. Carlos Alazraki as Breakdance, credited, Secret Service Agent, uncredited. 
Cedric Yarbrough as Firestorm, credited, Black Power, uncredited, Black Lightning, uncredited. Richard Green as Jimmy Olsen. Andrea Romano as Watchtower Computer, credited, reporter, uncredited. Topic: Production. In 2004, Bruce Timm revealed that a DCAU direct-to-video Justice League feature was in development to connect Justice League and Justice League Unlimited. The film was titled as Justice League – Worlds Collide. One of the objectives of the film was to explain how Wonder Woman acquired her invisible jet. However, the project was finally scrapped by Warner Bros. In 2008, however, Tim stated that Justice League – Worlds Collide could be released someday in the future. Finally, Worlds Collide was rewritten by Dwayne McDuffie for DC Universe animated original movies as Justice League – Crisis on Two Earths, but removing all connections with the animated series. Also, Jon Stewart's Green Lantern was changed with Hal Jordan's Green Lantern. Topic Soundtrack Topic Reception Justice League Crisis on Two Earths received positive reviews. The world's finest stated the film ranks up there as one of Dwayne McDuffie's better works in the animated 600th world and even though it's reminiscent of stories we've seen in animation before, the brilliant work done by moi, the directing by Sam Liu and Lauren Montgomery, and story make it more than worth watching again. Sequel <laughs> <laughs> The good performance of the Justice League, Crisis on Two Earths release led Warner Premiere and DC Universe to release the sequel Justice League, Doom. The film is loosely based on, "...JLA, Tower of Babel", a 2000 comic book storyline by writer Mark Wade. The film's script was adapted by writer Dwayne McDuffie, and it is directed by Lauren Montgomery. The film is dedicated to the memory of McDuffie, who died from complications following open-heart surgery shortly after writing the film. IGN gave the film a 7 out of 10, calling it, "...an immensely enjoyable thrill ride, but also an occasionally frustrating and short adaptation." It earned $6,543,809 from domestic home video sales.